Big Rum Production. What's poppin', y'all? Once again, this your big homie, MC Ron Ski, VOG, aka Big Ron 357. And as you can see, no music, no guests, no chill, no filter TV. Um, of course, yeah, you know, I'm, you know what I'm here to do. I'm here to recap, you know what I'm saying, the Go Hard or Go Home event this evening. First things first, let me say this, man. Milwaukee, we got to do a whole lot better. We got to do a whole lot better with supporting our own, man. Every time I go to one of these events and don't see, like, a, a, a proper turnout, man, it's just, it kind of it, it kind of disheartens me because, okay, everybody want people to support their events, but they don't support nobody else's, you know what I'm saying? So we got to do a little bit better when it comes down to that, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, man, why y'all ducking, man? What? Why y'all ducking, man? What's up with all this ducking, man? I mean, C. Hit was talking to something about ducking. He said something like, "And shit, y'all niggas stop booking me and fucking ducking. That's why I battle out of town, nigga." And I mean, got all up in my business saying all with the. Okay. Y'all niggas get y'all fucking bars and wait up, nigga. And I'll battle somebody right now, nigga. <laughs> And that's cool, you know, it's no chill, no filter TV. So, you know, I, I had to let that ride. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he had to speak his mind on that. But for real, for real, man, in any event, you know, Stewie Newton came, you know, from, um, they didn't tell me exactly where he came from, or was it Washington? Something like that. We was talking about California, but I do believe it was Washington that he came here from to battle. And I'm not even going to say nothing about the people that were supposed to have been here or was supposed to battle, that was supposed to show up, because I don't, I don't do, um, I don't do honorable mentions on duckers, okay, so, um, with that being said, okay, let's just jump off to the battles, it was only two, so this is going to be a quick recap, man, um, firstly, we had <laughs> my man Shadow, man, for real, and then, we <coughs> hold on, yo, they say I'm better when a nigga named Shadow the Serious. <coughs> Yo, nigga, you a clown. Hold up. It's okay. So don't dial 911. Your, your big homie cool. I'm good. I'm good. So um, I just choked a little bit. That's all. Sorry. But you know, speaking of choking, um, we had to go through this. They say I'm better when a nigga named Shadow the Serious, right? I said, cool. This gonna be easy work. And since today the first, you're about to see him get bagged and served. Fine. And it was cool, you know, it happens to the best of us, which is fine, I guess, you know. So, of course, you know, Shadow took that, and I mean, in the worst way, murdered. Um, yeah, yeah, he, he definitely, he definitely was the undertaker this evening, you know. Shadow did take care of his business. Um, shout out to my man Shadow. Shout out to P. Jesus, too, you know what I'm saying? He, he's a, he's a cold battle rapper, you know, his second round, he, he was coming on his second round. But in any event, you know, I mean, you... The first round, you it was just, it was a wrap on that. So, you know, either way it go. <coughs> sorry, sorry, my bad. Um, <coughs> it was, it, I'm sorry. Way too much choking for the day. So I'm, I'm done, I'm done choking, all right. <coughs> Hold on, what? Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so, all right. Um, off to the, off to the other battle. Oh, yeah, Shadow definitely took that, man. So, um, yeah, that, that's the recap on that. Um, not, not a huge recap. Honestly, I wish I was the cameraman tonight because, you know, that's about the easiest, however much he made, um, ever made. <laughs> and, yeah, shout out to the cameraman, too. He is definitely, he, he's a P guy. Um, sir. Sir Quentin. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that right there. Sir, that, yeah. So, um, in any event, you know. It was all good, you know, first battle, it, it went off without the hitch um, for Shadow. Um, definitely a body. Secondly, 
Dude. Perp. Granddaddy Perp. If you gonna come battle somebody like LL Cool G. <clears throat> Ooh, man, that first round just still got it like right up in here. I'm alright. I'm, I'm finna hurry up because I wanna go and watch the new King Kong. God, man, PG, is this for... Alright, okay, alright. Chill out, chill out, it's cool. No chill, no filter TV. You know, I'm choking a little bit, you know. I mean, you know, it's obviously going around. Um, so, in any event, Granddaddy Perk, if you gonna come and battle somebody like LL Kooji, don't smoke, don't drink, all he do is just sit around with his face like this here in his rap book, studying bars. Dude, honestly, as short as your round was, I thought that, you know, you was about to, I thought it was like a three-rounder until, you know, after after the first kill switch that came out of Kooji, I'm like, okay, so, so, okay, second round, second round, let me record this, and he kept going, and then he said kill switch again, and he kept going, and after after the second time, I was about to dial 911. I was about to call the police because, you know what, it was just too much going on then. I mean, you was just doing stuff just to be doing stuff then, um, Kooji. I'm just keeping it real, man. You're doing stuff to be doing stuff. So let's not, you know, but in any event, you know, if you're going to come to battle, yeah, once again, I have to quote Tyson. If dude didn't want to get smashed, he shouldn't have put the gloves on. That's that's all I got to say. And I ain't saying that. Well, yeah, I am saying that Granddaddy Perp got smashed. Yeah, he got he he caught the yeah the licks bricks is what he caught. But you know, in in, in any event, um, he did. I mean, had he, it would have been it would have been at least debatable had Granddaddy Perp at least had another. 10 minutes in them, maybe? I don't know. Like, maybe 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I feel that, yeah, it was... It was definitely something to see, man. Because, yeah, Granddaddy Perp came with them bars. Just didn't come with enough of them. So that's that's what caused his loss. That's, that's what made it not even debatable. Because, hey, I mean, honestly... You know how when you at the grave site and then people throw the flowers and then, okay, then somebody just pick up a handful of dirt. And well, dude came with a front loader. <laughs> One fell swoop, get the shovel and kind of pat it down. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's all I got to say about that. I mean, that, that's pretty much the recap for the go hard or go home. Um, GE did not look happy at all. Um, I guess there was other things that happened. Of course, the venue changed. Um, these things happen. You know, it is what it is on that. But what you going to do? Um, <clears throat> once again, you know, Milwaukee, we got to stand up a little bit more for our people, man. You know, we got to do a little bit better as far as, you know, supporting our own. Now, if, 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 if let's just say they said um, Lil Boosie was going to be there. Then now all of a sudden you got a line out the door. People can't get in. It's cracking. And the funny thing is, guess what dude doing? He finna take all that money and go home that he got from y'all. He finna go home, and he finna go home, and he finna count that money, and then flaunt it on on the on his little websites, on on the Instagrams and stuff like that. Yeah, I was in Milwaukee, and I made all this money right here. That's what he gonna do. And what y'all gonna do? Nothing. Y'all gonna sit up there and still worship this man? Y'all gonna just let an out of town person? And I'm not. I ain't hating on nobody by no means, but it's just kind of crazy that y'all would sit up here and support all these outside people, but won't support your own. That's kind of backwards to me. So I feel that, you know, we need to do a little bit better when it comes down to, you know, supporting our own. Shout out to Midwest, uh, Midwest Alliance, MWA, um, Miz the Great and, 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 and Milltown Blow. You know, y'all doing y'all thing. And I definitely appreciate the way y'all came at me today, you know what I'm saying, which was cool. And um, y'all see the vlog. You know, we, we did a little did a little three, four minute vlog, you know what I'm saying. And C hit, of course, had to make himself known because he said somebody ducked him or whatever the case but it is what it is and um <clears throat> you know with that being <clears throat> god <clears throat> ooh, man, be jesus and oh my bad man it, it we, we cool 
Um, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, like I was saying, you know, I'm just hoping that, I'm just hoping that we get better, you know what I'm saying, we need to get better with one another if we want to advance, because, I mean, me, myself, I'm a grinder, I'm a workhorse, I do what it is that I do, and that's one of the reasons why I made this platform, that's one of the reasons why I did what it is that I did, so that I can be one of those that contributes, and that's what I'm doing, I'm contributing, that's why I'm, I don't charge nobody to do this, you know what I'm saying, I, I feel that this is a whole lot of fun for me, I'm not trying to be in competition with nobody, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be better than nobody. I'm, I'm a humble man. I'm, I just want to do me. I want to have fun. Just like everybody else. You know, I don't want this to be a chore. I don't want this to be garbage. I want this to be fun for me and everybody involved. That's all. So, with that being said, like I always say, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just hoping that it gets better here in Milwaukee. Because if it don't, if we don't start, you know, getting behind our own, then we'll never get nowhere. We'll stay stagnant. We'll stay sitting here. We'll stay wondering why is New York doing so much better than we are. Why, we'll stay wondering why is California doing so much better than we are. Every time I turn around, people saying that these high grade people done took stuff from, from Milwaukee. And, I mean, if people taking stuff from Milwaukee, why is y'all not branding that? Why is other people branding what it is that y'all doing? Think about that, okay? So, with that being said, this was my recap of the night. And, of course, you know, a, co a, a couple sidebars. Um, <clears throat> God, man. <clears throat> I think it's going around. It's, it's like, hold on. It's like right there. I'm trying to get through this, you know. <clears throat> In any event, salute to everybody that came out. I'm glad that y'all came out. I appreciate it, y'all. And I hope we can do it again sometime real, real soon. So, with that being said, you know, this here been my recap from your big homie MC Ron Ski, the OG, a.k.a. Big Ron 357. And, I mean, you already know what it is, you know what I'm saying? If you're in your feelings, then, hey, as far as I'm concerned, you can stay upset. Till the next time, bitch.